There comes a point in an AFL player's career where he hangs up his boots and focuses on the next phase of his life. For two recently retired Swans, Jude Bolton and Marty Matna, that next phase hasn't strayed far from football, with the pair still very much involved in the game. For Jude, it's a role in the commentary box, while Marty has picked up the whistle as a Swans assistant coach. Uh, it's been different. I think uh, obviously they love love to be still competing with the guys out on the weekend. But uh, so yeah, it's been interesting sitting back and watching the guys that battled the first two weeks. But uh, it was great to see them get a win on the weekend. Quite enjoying uh, having feeling pretty good waking up in the mornings and um, yeah, not have to stress about 3K time trials and things like that. So um, I guess from a coaching point of view, there's other things you worry about. But um, yeah, it's been a lot less stressful in the preseason. Hey, nice Tommy. Hey, Louis. Round one was good. I think it was good to have the pre-season in terms of getting in the coach's box and seeing how it's all done. And, um, I was still very nervous at round one um, for other reasons, I guess, for you know more about have I prepared properly, told all the players what's going on, and you know, giving them all they need to know. But um, yeah, I was still pretty nervous for round one. Pops it to the square. Addison half held, no free. Cameron again. Oh, He's a jet. Yeah, to sit back and uh, watch them get beaten by the Crosstown rivals very tough to watch but um, it shows how the rivalry will build and hopefully I can't wait for the round 15 clash here at the SCG and um, hopefully get one back on them I guess. And they're home all right, they've done it, what a team, that culture, the bloods. Yeah I guess those routines that you used to go through, I used to go for breakfast all the time with uh, a few of the guys and uh, the day before the game and certainly missed that and we'd even do that in the state as well so yeah, just the travelling with the guys was something um, I definitely miss, but uh, still get to see them a fair bit and hopefully even doing a bit of boundary riding, running out and hopefully after a few wins, interviewing a few of the guys. Um, yeah, I've changed a few things, I guess. Um, being able to, there's, there's, there is a bit more time spent at the footy club, but also too on weekends, been able to spend time with family. Um, I guess the, other, the thing that I've seen the most is being able to run around a bit more with Oscar and those sorts of things, not being so sore after games and those sorts of things. So, you know, Sunday we go down the park and have a run around, which is something that I've really enjoyed. And I guess in the end, if that's the reason, sort of one of the reasons why I retired, so that I can run around in a few years' time and spend time with Oscar. 